Hi, welcome to the shop. This is another part in the miniature 1911 series. This time we're going to make the rear sight. I already prepared the material. It's 6mm square carbon steel and I have already machined the ends square and the stock to length, both pieces to the same length. This time I'm going to do most of the milling operation on the CNC milling machine and we're going to clamp the parts with this clamping block. I've clamped the part in the clamping block, now I want to center it. I'm using the DTI for this job. Okay, to cut this in this radius, I ground this single lip cutter. It's a straight, a straight cutter, 4 mm diameter with a 0.8 mm corner radius to form this radius. Okay, this is how far we are right now with the rear side of the 1911. The outer shape is cut and also the stepped radius and the, the side slot itself. What's now left to be done is cutting the, the dovetail and on this and that edge. And to cut the dovetail I ground this 25 degree angular cutter. It's a single lip cutter made from a 3 mm carbide shank. Okay, second to last step on the rear side. We are going to round over the top corners with a 0.76 mm radius. I'll do this in the CNC. I have chucked up a 1.5 mm end mill and I have written a short program to do this. Uh, it will go down to full depth and 
make one pass around. So, last thing that has to be done is cutting the side free of the stem we used to clamp the part. I will use a 0.6 millimeter slit install. So, these are the finished rear sides. I have um, cut them off their stem, rounded the corners on the bottom slightly over. Thank you for watching.